This is Sasha, Sasha Prost. Uh, you might be familiar with his uh, second name. I believe you had a, a father that so. was fairly prolific in F1. Back in the day, <laughs> Back yeah. in the day, right? <laughs> so, for those of you who don't know, Sasha is the founder of a fashion brand. Do you like to do you like it to be referred to as a fashion brand? Just clothing brand or lifestyle? I mean, fashion brand sometimes sounds a bit too... A bit pretentious. Yeah, exactly. It's more lifestyle brand, It's a right? clothing brand inspired from motor racing, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it's high-end. So yeah. this is why sometimes it's referred as a fashion brand. For anyone that's high-end... But it's bit, more you know, a quality lifestyle brand. Yes, it exactly. Were. It's a quality okay. lifestyle brand inspired from, from the, um, the 60s and 70s era of Formula One. So I'm not looking at my phone to be rude. I'm looking at my phone because we put the option out earlier on online for anyone to ask no us use. both questions. It's not every day that you get to be with a guy who started his own company. It's fairly new. What is it, two, yes. or, two or three years old? Uh, three, yeah. Three, three years, years old, so it's fresh. In my eyes, it's successful. It's still early days, but I love what you yeah. guys are doing. I, I mean, thought success it's an is insight. A, always yeah. a big word, right? It is. I think success is very you? subjective. Yes. Um, but the fact is, you're three years old, you're still here, you're growing. I love the direction you, you're going in. Thank and you. one of the questions that I always get asked by our fantastic audience here, you know, we're always after motivation, inspiration, tips, help, mm -hmm. etc., as to how to do it. And whatever it is, it might be your passion, it might be launching a business, it might be whatever, but building a brand or just simply where to start so I, mm -hmm. I wanted to get some questions from these guys on yeah. that angle and, and then of course we got there's loads more we got loads so anyway let's have a look first one let's start on cars first yeah this because is we are a car on, channel yeah. um dream car what's mm -hmm. your dream car so i'll take that question as dream car at the moment at the yeah at the moment for sure you're looking at it this is this is the boy this is it i think it just 70s be. targa I feel like it, in all modesty, it fits me very well. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, do you know what? Every time I drive up alongside you, you've always got a massive smile yeah, on your face. Yeah. So this is I 200 can smiles per I gallon. 200 smiles per gallon? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, my dream car at the moment is an F12 TDF. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> Everyone knows that. So let's move on. Um, okay. This is a more sort of businessy related question. Oh, yeah. Also, sorry, I forgot to announce who asked that that question. Hmm. The what is your dream car question was J R A Bassa asked what your dream car was. So thanks for that. Okay, next question, uh, Mo Haned, uh, what was your best investment? So do you, you want to take the investment one because right now you're in the process of building a business, and there's yeah. obviously been investments involved there. What would you say is your best investment? I, I think the best investment is when, and I'll, I'll twist that a little bit, mm. but for me an investment can be many things. And it's Absolutely. when you invest maybe in the people you're exactly. working with. It doesn't have to be you know? monetary. Exactly. It could be time, uh, it, personnel. Often an investment costs a certain mm -hmm. amount of money. It can be a large amount or a small amount. But I think the investment, the best investment we've made is when we sort of really looked in how to create our team mm -hmm. um, and the people we surround itself with. And also, an investment that we've made is choosing the certain, let's say, um, channel of distribution mm -hmm. that sometimes were not the most radically profitable short term, but where to build a brand that becomes mm. something that people refer to as being the brand inspired from racing. H hugely. I yeah. think this is our best investment because I'm proud to say we're not a very large business, mm -hmm. but we have a strong, let's say, targeted audience that like likes what we do. Mm. And, I, yeah. and that, that's, that's I my greatest, that's let's say... Um, uh, that's what I'm most proud of. Yeah, you know, like that we built something that is tangible. Yeah. Have, so before YouTube, I ran a sort of uh, fashion e-commerce business for the last 12 years, and I can fully support that. That you're only as good as the people who are supporting you. Exactly. Um, and so investing in in people, uh, I mean, put your ego to one side. Try your best to hire people that are better than you. Yeah. You know, analyze your strengths, and you know pursue that but where you're the weaker get someone in who's oh, much better you know yeah you um, can do everything dude when i got people on on board in my business who are better than me mm. things just changed you know yeah. it's an absolute game changer and f for me personally my my greatest investment and again it, it's funny because it's not an actual monetary one mm -hmm. it's the decision to invest the amount of time that I do in producing yeah. this channel. So well, time is money. Mr. JWW would, I mean, 
What time was I up to last night editing the video that you just dropped? I mean, I example. left you at what, 1 a.m.? Mm. And you sent me a text at 4 saying you yeah. were done. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I thought died. we and were done when... That's it, yeah. I think, you know, we we put out this this 10 to 15 minute, like, crisp video of it of a day that looks yeah. fantastic. But, you know, that day, yeah, you just started at 8, around. we finished at 8, and then it was editing all night. And, mm -hmm. um... I think whenever you're building anything, a brand, a business, it's really important to think about the long term. I think people are, it's, we're in this culture where people are so obsessed with like short term goals mm -hmm. that they want a sort of quick buck. And I think yeah. the real investment is the long term into building something well, or I valuable. think you cannot make a quick buck mm. with your main business or all your business uh, or all your activity. Mm. It, it can be Abs different yeah, absolutely. activities in one business, but you have to look at long term for for sure. the main stuff and then you can have a quick box here and there but it cannot be you know yeah. something you rely on to put food on the table always for sure know? man yeah absolutely okay Haynes underscore Matt what gives you the motivation to go out and make the content you do at such a high level and I'm gonna apply that to what does it give you what gives you the motivation to take your brand to a high level and also make the products to a high level I think we're gonna agree on this but it's passion right 100%. 100%. 100%. I think the easiest way for me passion. to describe this is if you truly want to build something for the long term, and I believe long term is so much more valuable than short term. Um, You'll sell it for a lot more. <laughs> yeah, well, that too. But put, follow the passion, not the profession. Mm -hmm. If you follow the profession, which is basically following the cash, um, it doesn't matter what you do, it's so hard. Mm -hmm. So if you follow the profession, you're going to become so annoyed. You're going to become tired. You're going to become and you're going to be a slave of, of your own work. Exactly. You, you're going to be a slave to the profession rather than passion. I've noticed as a result of turning my life to YouTube content creation, building this brand, that following my passion has literally changed my life. Like mm -hmm. I mean, if, if if we'd have had this chat 18 months ago. I wouldn't have believed you if 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 you'd have said what was about to unfold. Yeah. And it's never has it sing once been driven by cash. It's always been driven by me just wanting to create. Yeah, but I think for us in our industry, it's just I try to create something that will be a good product of good quality or a good experience for someone you on the shop floor. Because I believe, you believe in, in it. let's say the lifestyle brand as a whole and not just selling a few t-shirts on that day. Yes. And this the, the way of thinking is only driven by passion. If I didn't have that passion for motor racing mm -hmm. or, uh, or cars in general and wanted to take what, let, let's say, I've grown up with mm -hmm. and put it in this, the, the clothing that we're doing, yeah, um, absolutely. That I would have had no passion doing something else. So, uh, so yeah. Right. Underscore Harry GM. Drift or grip? Oh, yeah. We spoke about this one. We did speak about this Already. one. Good question. Good question. I'll let... You take it first. Well, I let's say with my Formula One <laughs> background, background or <laughs> yeah, roots. I'll, you always I go for grip, right? If yeah. you want to go quick, but as we said, um, and James's channel is a lot about emotions and smiles and everything. I was drifting this baby a little bit earlier up this mountain, and pass, my like. smile just sort of went up to ten thousand RPM. This, <laughs> it, it's funny. There's something about being the least efficient in a car that is yes. the most fun. Yeah. So the bottom line for me is, if you want to go quick, grip is the good way to for go. Sure. Obviously. Yeah. I think I don't like drift if it's unexpected, but if you want to have yeah. fun. If you drift initiate awesome. the drift, it's good to go. So yeah, it depends where you are and what sure. car you're on and with who you are on the road. If you're racing, yeah. drift might not be a good thing. I guess you could reword drift or grip to fast or fun. Really, yeah, exactly. It depends on the day, exactly. really. <laughs> yeah, and the weather. Right, Mace Masters, question for both. What was your first job? So my first job, or oh, okay, actually the first thing I did to earn money was actually sell things on eBay. That was the first thing I did. And that was around about 15, age 15. I did that for like 18 months. And uh, it was just because like I didn't have any money. So during like school holidays, I couldn't go and do anything more adventurous than ride a bike, you know, yeah. or a family holiday. And I wanted to go and do other things. And it was basically rooting through drawers and things that I'd probably been bought over 15 Christmases and That's just amazing. going flip it on on eBay and I, I remember the first thing that I sold was a guitar tuner 
That's and great. I sold it for 50 pence and the postage was that more is, than the product. That's the start of it. It's the start of it, but the, the reason behind that was I got my feedback up on eBay mm. to build up a profile that I was a good seller and therefore people wanted to you know, deal with me more when I sold larger things. And then I used to go to charity shops and that's I would buy price. I would buy stuff. My like local town had a few charity shops and like I'd go in there and people would be that's buying like, like a whole other basically channel you new can do shoes. On that. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> so funnily enough, that ties into a question someone else asked earlier. Can you make money without Oh yeah, yeah, and sure. I believe actually that is a quite a good way of starting. Most people have just stuff lying stuff around, lying around, lying around that I think you can flip on eBay like one man's junk or make is art a, with another man's yeah. treasure. He, he, yeah, you know, exactly. You know, just do just be something creative. with it. Passion, uh, passion or you could go down somewhere. to the charity shop if you have nothing in your own home. I mean, I yeah, I did that for like eighteen months and it paid, man. It was great. Uh, on my first job, I worked in a nightclub collecting glasses. I wasn't old enough to pull pints behind Too bad. the bar. So I know, right? So they had me walking around the club and this was back in the day when smoking was still allowed in, inside. So you came so back So I was a p passive smoker um, and uh, yeah, and they used to have me clean the toilets and all sorts of stuff and that was like, that was the grimmest job on earth. Um, I, actually, I actually used to make more money at the end of the night picking up the coins from around the bar because people used to put pull out their money from their pockets and they would drop stuff on the floor while they were paying for drinks. Oh, wait, and Because I was the guy that swept up. That's good. I would, Tipsy. yeah, I would collect the uh, tips. Tips. And then the, yeah, uh, as it were, so, yeah. I have to be very honest, I yeah. had it really well from my childhood. So my cool. first job, Sweet. my first job was um, officially when uh, mm -hmm. I was in, in uni and I, and, I, and I was in internship mm -hmm. and um, and I was just in the events uh, business because that's what I studied. Cool. And uh, I realized that may not be what I wanted to do. And then I had another go. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that's really not what I wanted to do. And then but that's so important. I think having yeah. a crap job yes. makes gives you more motivation than anything to know what you do want to do. But I think don't. selling here things here and there was always part of my thing. I was mm -hmm. not a big fan of eBay. I was more mm -hmm. a, a, a local guy kind of yeah. thing. And then, uh, and then my official first job really is AJ's because uh, okay, we cool. we had the business plan when I was still in uni, mm -hmm. and I think the the day right after my graduation day, uh -huh. uh, we were in the south of Italy, uh, working with manufacturers, looking at textiles and everything. So this is really my first job, and where I well, this ties in to this next question. Yeah. YM B eight. How did eight J start? Yeah, like it feels that. like you were just yeah about exactly. To transition so onto the, that. The, I was I was in uni. Uh huh. Um, I always was a terrible student. I didn't work that much. I didn't okay, see the, the okay. point, right? Yeah. Uh, I was young and stupid for sure. And then, uh, and then uh, one day I, I was speaking with my brother and my sister, and I always had this entrepreneurial thing. I wanted to make something for myself, and mm -hmm. always had terrible ideas and like uh, cafes and hammock clubs and stuff like that. Weird. But just weird trying. Things. Yeah, trying, just trying. trying. And, and always, obviously, I'm very close to my brother. Uh -huh. And uh, and uh, one day they sort of came with an idea of a brand, right? And I was so hooked right away. And then uh, two days later, we had the name, and then we had this, and then suddenly, I, I mean, from a conversation, we didn't say, "Okay, are we going to do this?" It just, yeah. we just went for it, for sure. And then, um, and then, yeah, two months later, we had the business plan. Obviously, my my brother is nine years older than me, so he sort of took care of this first part. As I said, I was not a good student; didn't know much about business. Uh huh. Very honest. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, yeah, the next day after graduation was in the south of Italy doing um, uh, doing prospection for manufacturers and started working. And this is where I, I felt, all right. So it clicked. Yeah, this it is clicked, where you want to be. It clicked right away. I think yeah. it didn't click, you know, in the first six months because you're still testing and running. You're still uh -huh. a kid, right? Uh -huh. uh, I was 22, 20, uh, 23 years wow. old. Nice, I, uh, as we Very said, cool. I'm still a kid in my mind. And then suddenly, boom! I was like, all right, I'm a professional. Mm -hmm. I'm in, I'm in the I'm in the business world now. Like Sasha, this is your thing. Go for it. And then suddenly, I just like my the passion. The passion Exploded. came, and I, yeah, I yeah. just loved it. And it, it took 17 hour road trips to the south of Italy to go mm -hmm. pick up some sweaters to do all these things yeah and uh, and yeah so it's really about finding your thing which is something that sort of like I didn't find at first but yeah, I found yeah. myself into this you're very good at this 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 goes on to the next question <laughs> all right uh, cam underscore Hodges 451 tips for a future entrepreneur find your passion I, yeah, I mean, uh, it's tough. No, but this is. Uh, I mean, obviously, the, you could write a book this thick. This on is the, not on a it. nice answer because it's. So, it, it, no, it, I know it's quite a. a they're gonna be like, a, yeah, a generic well, no. thing. <laughs> the biggest thing for me about this statement, and it and it can fall into many different categories. You know, uh, find your passion, do what you love, etc. It's not because it's nice to do what you love. It's because whatever it's you want to do. It's gonna make it so much easier in the bad times. But but 
And there's how many bad times are there? Yeah, I mean, like it's a disproportionate. Unfortunately, 80%. I found. Yeah, no, business is. This is like how good as it fires. gets, right? Put, this is this, as, this is as good as it gets. This is right? it. This is yeah, it. Um, business for me has always been putting out fires. It's always been. Yeah. It's it, it's never been, um, you know, doing great things that are growing and oh that's a milestone. It's been the best way of dealing with problems, mm. day out, day in, day out. Um, so the reason that that I say and you share this to do what you love or follow the passion, not the profession, is that it's so hard to achieve anything. It doesn't matter what you end up doing. Never underestimate how much time and how much effort you need to exactly. graft to put into that. And if you don't love it, you will either do you it half-half. Not, not, yeah, exactly. You won't put all of your heart into it, and you'll do it or half a good job. You'll just be disgusted. Exactly, right? you'll and you'll this... just you'll end up going out with your mates instead of putting in that effort that you should have done those extra hours. I genuinely prefer to sit in front of a computer and edit for four hours yeah. than I do go out. I get stressed I, 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 on vacations. Yeah, we were just That's saying it. that. I can't. I, I get stressed. I can't. I'm and not. It's like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I like it for four, maybe four or five yeah. days, and then I'm just like, I'm like, oh, we need to do this. Basically, if I said to you now, if you could do anything you wanted to now, what is your hobby, for example? What would you go and do? That might be cycling through the Alps. It might be learning to fly. It could be video games. We are in such a lucky time. Yeah, that there's where never been sort more of like options to possible. monetize that. You know, create content around it. I have, I have a good point also. For example, you said cycling through the Alps. Mm. Maybe you're not a good cycler, right? Oh, that's another thing. But hold on. There's so many other things to do. Like, I didn't go oh, good, into yeah. being a Formula One driver. Exactly. But my passion for, my this is Your my passion first passion cars. is cars and Formula One. Exactly. This is it. Yeah. I'm not a professional Formula that's One driver. That's such a great point. But I found my own passion such into a great clothing. Point. Yeah, yeah, And now clothing became my passion. But yeah, yeah. I'm not a fashion designer. I'm yeah, an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah with sure. the love for a certain yeah, yeah. let's say industry but I conveyed it into another one 100%. and this is something yeah. that is so possible today because mm. obviously people make their own media yeah. Right? 100% it, yeah basically you've never had it better you've, there's never been a better time to go and do what you want to do uh, the other thing I would say is content is everything it doesn't mm. necessarily mean you're gonna make an entertainment show but content provides the the foundation to awareness to attract other like-minded people who will then discover your brand and off it goes so uh, provide value be genuine be passionate don't sell too early um, don't don't try and sell to people before you've got any form of you know following or uh, yeah. appreciation um, and give it time that's the other thing time time yeah oh time time for me is patience would be everything I feel like I've been working say. in this for 20 years right it's been three and I'm like long way to go there you go <laughs> anyway Kane underscore Walsh 2000 at mr. JWW what piece of clothing would you like to personally create alongside at 8j's official Funny you should ask that. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm here in Switzerland in the first place is that uh, we're on our way to the HJ's studio because we've been working on a partnership, collab. a collab. It's like uh, HJ's by Mr. JWW that exactly. is coming soon. Uh, in or the, Mr. JWW by, by I never know which way, yeah, which way no, no. around it is. Anyway, um, doesn't really matter. No, <laughs> that's gonna involve us going to the HJ studio, giving you a tour around there, and checking out the very first. Uh, styles that we've worked on, which yeah. I'm super happy about. Super stoked for that. Them right. Cool. James, how do you do your hair? <laughs> what is with I mean, Teach I, me. I get that question all the time. You. So I've told James, you have to do a video just about how to make your hair, a tutorial. Plus, it's very fashionable these days to do that on Instagram. Just to clarify, you're gonna have to do that. You're never gonna catch me doing that. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you how I do it. All right, go. Yeah. So. It's all in the blow dry. <laughs> it's all in the blow dry. You have to get it like like your but head. Hold on, it's fine tuning, right? It's not just like all blow dry. You have oh to no no! Sort of... You got to sculpt it with the dryer, and uh, you like you, you sort of blow it back. But here's the trick, right? The yeah, well, certainly, yeah. The you get as much heat in the nest as you can. Hold it back, and then put a cap on, and then walk around and go about your morning for like five yeah. minutes, which kind of sets it back, and then you put the wax in. Yeah, right, cool. And I'll it's be kind sure of doesn't. Try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've gone through a few waxes, but it generally, that's the the general trend is to sweep it back with heat, hold it, and then wax it. All right. Well, here you True go, story. guys. Yeah. 
Um, okay, let's do one more question uh, because I, this will probably be going on for ages and then uh, we're gonna head to 8Js. So check out the uh, link below for the next video. Last question. There's a lot of questions here about business and starting. Um, I mean, really, I would I would take on board what we've just said. I think because we get these questions so much, I'm going to make more of a feature of these yeah. going forwards. And actually, I think the video that we end up doing at uh, 8Js will be quite an insight into, yes, into that world in terms of how to develop products and things. Uh, so, yeah, basically stay tuned because I, I, I'm aware people want to know more. And, uh, you know, from my journeys, I'd love to be able to provide that value. I'm going to change this slightly, but if you had to swap the RS6 for one car, what would it be? Now so we wait, were, yeah, hold on a second. Right. We had this. We had, we this, had this chat conversation yesterday about so, the daily car. Yeah. So rather than me swapping it, let's talk about what our perfect dailies would be. Yeah. And I mean like a daily, not like oh, I would daily a so, Chiron. Like yeah, exactly. What, what daily, your daily would be? Not a car that you can drive on the daily. A car that you would drive on that the daily. That is kind of designed that, to be a daily. Even if you go to like let's say a town in the outskirts of I don't know where somewhere, and you have to park somewhere right. outside a pub you would still park You'd it still there still be good right? exactly this is, this like is a what a daily, daily is the RS6 is so hard to beat because yeah. okay they're they are by convention expensive but they aren't stupid money like a GTC4 mm. Luso so for me the RS6 does a very similar job to the Luso doesn't have that V12 sound but it's actually more practical, man. It's got, you know, it's got four doors so you well, can get in the back. Big that's boot. what I always talk about. Yeah. I always talk about, you know, I always have so many things in the, in the boot. I always have collection, I have samples, I have bags, mm. everything. Yeah. I mean, personally, as we discussed, the GT3 and you rocked it for one year would be a great, you know, so would good. make a good, obviously so you have to good. watch out where you park it and everything, but yeah. still would make yeah. a good daily. I wouldn't be able to pull that off because I have too many things lying around sure. all the time. Yeah. So me being a, a whole, uh, mm -hmm. let's say a true fan of this brand. Yeah. I think the new Panamera really cuts it for you me. Like that, Although I, it's the Macan, you like the Macan as well, huh? Yeah, I, li I like it a lot. Panamera is beautiful. I feel like I might be too young. Oh, that question was like, if it wasn't the RS6, what would it be? RS3 would be good. Panamera. I would Panamera. I'm not sold on the aesthetics. I like it. You like him. I like. I it. like the funky wing that comes out of the. Oh, there's the Gran cool. Turismo one. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, that's nice. It's um, like a, yeah. Or Range Rover. GTC4 Luso, that was your... If, dude, if I could have anything, it would be a GTC4 Luso. Luso. And you get but a dark grey on black rims. Yeah, like a nice chestnut tan interior. Mm. Mm. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out AJ's and uh, see you next time. Ciao. <laughs>